folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Wednesday, November 20th, 2024. Today it is snowing here where I live in South Dakota. They've had snow earlier this year in the Black Hills, but where I live in uh, Watertown, yeah, we got snow. It's a uh, wet snow and um, actually more than what I thought we would get. There's been six earthquakes of a magnitude 5 or greater today. The most recent was a 5.1 by Tonga. Many of these earthquakes were really deep. Uh, the 5.1 was 113.6 miles in depth or 182 kilometers, a little bit deeper. No one said they felt this earthquake. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. This is a spreading center. Let me bring it out. What we got is the uh, Pacific Plate subducting. And then it comes up and forms all these different islands. Uh, large earthquakes are common in this area. Back in 2009, there was a magnitude 8.1. Last year, close to the same area, there was a 6.9, 2023 on July uh, 7th. The next earthquake that happened before the 5.1 was a 5.1 in Vostok, Russia. Now that earthquake was 253.2 miles in depth. No one said they felt that earthquake. It is in a remote location. So using Google Earth, this is the location of the earthquake. Um, earthquakes in this location are fairly common and there is a lot of volcanic activity within this area. Yeah, it is really remote. I don't see anything listed here on land recently. But what we got going on is, again, subduction and the movement of the plates. Drawn out in red here is the Hidaka um, collision zone. This is where the two different plates in the North American plate is colliding within this location. The largest earthquake close to this location was in 2012. And in 1950, we got a magnitude 7.7 .7 right there. And then here's the location in uh, 2012. The next earthquake happened also at a spreading center. Yep, the plates are moving. A magnitude 5.7 there in Greenland. Nine miles deep or 14.4 kilometers. So you can see here on the moment tensor ball we got spreading. Again using Google Earth this is the location of that earthquake and you can see it's along the West uh, Spitsbergen uh, Fold and Thrust Belt. Yeah. Um, yeah this is an area where also if you go a little bit farther down south there's a lot of earthquakes. But you can see it's right between Salbard and Greenland. And this is the direction that um, the plate is moving. This is also over here a location where Russia has disposed of a lot of um, highly toxic uh, nuclear ships and submarines and uh, yeah, wasted um, barrels of um, yeah, radiation. What makes that so bad is the fact that uh, this location, too, is heavily fished. The next earthquake that occurred today was there by Tonga, a magnitude 5.5. It was also very deep, 114.5 miles in depth. Three people said that they did feel it, um, or it would have been 227.7 kilometers in depth. Yeah, we got spreading. Um, a thrust earthquake, yeah. No tsunami warnings are going off. This boy up over here, something's been going on for with this one for about a week. Um, yeah, it's probably, um, yeah, not working correctly. So here's the area of Tonga and the three reports that came in saying that they did feel this earthquake. Intensity 2 and I believe it was also intensity level three. Here on Google Earth is the location of that earthquake. And again, this is caused by subduction. Uh, yeah, the movement of the plates, the Pacific plate. We have the Tonga Trench where uh, the Pacific Ocean is 
diving down into the mantle and it comes right back up again. Yep, forming lots of volcanic islands. So, yeah, um, it kind of looks like um, where the uh, Honga Tonga, close to that, is where this 5.5 occurred. Many of you will remember back in 2022 when that volcano erupted and created that devastating tsunami. Uh, the sound of the blast went around the earth, uh, what, nine times? Yeah, it was so devastating. But again, yeah, these islands all grew up because of the magma coming up from the Pacific Plate being dragged down and rising up to form these different islands. Then there was a magnitude 5.3 before that, 6.2 miles in depth, um, Solomon Islands. No one said they felt this earthquake. It was a thrust earthquake. No tsunami warning. Here we got where you can see where the one side of the fault rose up and the other either stayed stationary or dropped down. So here, right along the New Britain subduction zone, is the location of this 5 point three earthquake and again you can see the pacific plate subducting and then uh the australian plate yeah crashing into this location another area that does have a lot of earthquakes see 1975 a magnitude 7.0 2009 a 7.8 and the last one within the last 24 hours was down by antarctica um, a magnitude 5.0 east of the South Sandwich Islands. No one said they felt this earthquake, and I'll bring it out so you can see the location. Yeah, and I got drawn out in red. Um, here in red is the Southwest Indy Ridge. And then over here we got the South Sandwich Trench. This location, because of all the movement of the uh, plates, yeah, it has a lot of earthquakes. Majority of them are in the magnitude 5, but in 1926, there was a magnitude 7.0. And then over here, we got another spreading center. I'll bring it out so you can see. Yeah, here's Antarctica. Yeah, they've been doing some um, a lot of research lately, and I did mark it out, I think. Let me see. Yeah, down here to the south. This is where they're uh, doing their uh, finagling for um, controlling the weather and creating earthquakes. Yeah, they're earthquake machines. Um, when they first started doing the um, making man-made earthquakes, that's when they had that large and devastating earthquake there in uh, Christchurch, Australia. Globally, for the last seven days of a magnitude 7.5 or greater, there's been 85 that they are reporting. And I do wonder about how many earthquakes do happen in remote locations that they don't even report. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. Please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.